Hello, this is Tom from Antiproton.com, and I have my Geiger counter finally. The CRM100 from International Medicom. Well, Medcom, not Medicom. This is the most awesomest thing ever. I'm sitting on my bed with no sheets here on this little black plastic thing. And as you can see, this is the Geiger counter. It measures alpha, beta, gamma, and x-ray. And it's pretty easy to use. comes with this fun little booklet right here with piles and piles of information. And this goofy little... Uh, case right here, which I may or may not use. It's hard to say. As soon as I got it, the very first thing I did with it was, of course, run happily around my uh, apartment looking for radioactive stuff, which, I, of course, I didn't find because why would there be any? But immediately after that, I headed over to my father's house. My father is a likely suspect for radioactive stuff because he has old things. He has antiques. And as you may or may not be aware, in the 1950s, well, they seem to have absolutely no idea what anything was. Well, here's an ironic thing. I found something. I found this. Wrapped in aluminum foil. Well, I wrapped it in aluminum foil. A low-energy beta emitter. This is a dinosaur bone. It was part of a, a rock collection. It's not spectacular in of its own right in any way. But it is a mild producer of radiation. Very, very mild. You probably have heard me in the internet being a skeptic about people who pick up radioactive stuff and touch it. Well, that's fine, but this literally puts out almost nothing. Here, watch this. Cut on the Geiger counter. It does a self-checking calibration. And now it's set. I have it currently set two counts per minute. See? Not much. If I put it near this, let's do this in such a way that it actually does something. It goes up a little. See what I mean when I say not much? This is actually safe enough to actually hold in your hand. Unlike smoke alarms and other things that you probably shouldn't be messing with, this truly, honestly, is not much. And if I switch this to the inappropriate micro sieverts, actually, excuse me, this is in uh, Milla um, uh, Rinkins, roll your R, not much. Not much at all. It is actually a dinosaur bone, barely. Let's put it over here behind the aluminum. The counts per minute should drop in just a moment. Is there a way? My hand might be contaminated a little. No, not really. I contaminated my hand a little bit earlier, which was sort of amusing. I'm going to go in a little bit more depth later on when I have a chance to play with this more and talk about it some more. The normal cost of this Geiger counter is $275, give or take. It is absolutely an incredibly good deal. Notice. Look at that. It's working. It's picking up the little rock. It'll do timed counts. All kinds of great stuff. This little rock is so barely radioactive as to almost not even count. A piece of Fiesta glassware, for example, would be blowing this thing away by comparison. And that's actually theoretically safe. Although you won't catch me with it. I know I said I wasn't going to keep anything. But I might actually keep this dumb little rock because it's so weak. And yet I can actually use it if I ever want to test the validity of my little toy and make sure it works correctly. But here it is, as you can see, radioactive stuff. All in this little tiny Geiger counter. Now let's move this away.
behind aluminum. By the way, I tested it with aluminum to ensure that it was beta. It is beta. And as you can see, it has an alpha window in the front. The alpha window is not exposed to the rock. I make sure of that. I always give it a tap and a blow with my mouth just to make sure that it doesn't have any. But, yeah. It is, of course, dropping. And it will continue to drop. It's actually probably picking up still a little bit from the rock, which is not that far away. The CRM100 is pretty simple to use. You notice, well, I don't know if you can see it from this, but it has this top switch, which does a timer at the bottom. Counts per minute or counts per second in the middle. And uh, milli uh, microsieverts, sorry, microsieverts or milli uh, rinkens per hour. Both of them are per hour. By the way, my thumb looks funny because I had an accident years ago. I got chopped off, and that's why it's all funny looking. So, sorry for that. The little tiny light tells you every single time that it's picking up a radiological event, like a like a like a uh, a gamma ray or something going through it. In this case, probably beta. This right here is on, off, and silent mode. On the top are switches, plus, minus, and set, which you use to control everything. I'll go through this in more detail in video later. And this little thing on the top right here is a Geiger window. It's a Geiger-Muller window that alpha and beta particles, well, beta particles are sort of particles. They're actually high-energy electrons. Look at the website. You'll find all about it. But anyway, they can enter through there. And on the side right here is where you'd be more likely to pick up uh, gamma rays and things like that, which we're really not getting. And then, of course, there's a... a, a uh, headphones and a little data port, 9 volt battery goes down here in the bottom. All in all, incredibly good deal as far as I'm concerned. And I have this little booklet which I'm going to be using to chart things with. Notice I'm already make, taking accurate measurements, writing down exactly what's happening, writing down baselines, and I'm going to go through later on how this is done so that if you want to, you can also know what the heck you're doing. I have somewhat of an idea of what I'm doing. Notice, by the way, we're down to 13 again. You put that uh, rock back in front of it, it'll go back up again. So anyway, that is my incredibly amusing ultimate super duper mega fun and my new hobby. It isn't dangerous because you're not really going to find anything in the average home that's particularly dangerous, and if you do, get rid of it. That's my opinion. Don't collect it. A little rock is one thing. Anything like that, anything more than that, just get rid of it. Watch dials and stuff, get rid of them. It's not worth keeping around. But it is still a neat little thing to do. I'll videotape and put anything else up in here, I find. So, that's all I've had for the, uh, all the fun I've had for the first night, and I think it's worth it already. Alright, well, say goodnight and say goodbye to the CRM100 from International Medcom. And that's... Uh, what is it? Medcom.com, I think. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's the website. Just type International Medcom or CRM100. Either one will get it for you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.